The continent of Africa is beautiful and endowed with an abundance of natural resources, raw materials, precious metals, and fertile land. Africa has a total population of 1.43 billion according to the most recent United Nations estimate of 2023. With consistent growth and improvement, the African economy is expected to reach a GDP of $29 trillion by 2050, playing a significant role in the global economy. Despite many challenges, African countries include some of the fastest-growing economies in the world. According to a new African Development Bank report, Africa will outperform the rest of the world in economic growth over the next two years, with real GDP averaging around 4% in 2023 and 2024. This is higher than the projected global averages of 2.7% and 3.2%. The African economy is expected to reach $11.34 trillion in GDP by 2027, fueled by agriculture, trade, and natural resources. With 20 million new job seekers in sub-Saharan Africa alone each year, the region has an eager and expanding workforce. While there are several ways to compare various nations' wealth, one of the best methods is to evaluate each country's gross domestic product, or GDP. This is the value of all the goods and services produced by a nation in a given year. In this video, we shall be using the data obtained from the International Monetary Fund IMF and the World Bank to deduce the top 10 strongest economies in Africa 2024. But before we start, make sure to give this video a like, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so you don't miss out on future educative and informative videos regarding the interesting continent of Africa. With that out of the way, let's begin. 10. Ghana GDP, $75 billion. Located in West Africa, Ghana has the 10th strongest economy in Africa. With a GDP of $70 billion and purchasing power parity of $226 billion in the previous year. The country was the first in sub-Saharan Africa to be liberated from colonial rule and the first to achieve the goal of having extreme poverty. Ghana's economic resource base includes the manufacturing and exportation of digital technology goods, the construction and exportation of automobiles and ships, and the exportation of diverse and rich resources such as hydrocarbons and industrial materials. As a result, Ghana now has one of the highest GDP per capita rates in West Africa. Because of its overall favorable business environment, the country has attracted foreign investment and has experienced economic growth in the last decade. Services account for roughly half of Ghana's GDP and employ nearly 30% of the workforce. Agriculture is the next contributor to GDP, accounting for just under 25%. Ghana also has an abundance of natural resources, which contributes to the country's economic boom. Ghana is Africa's largest gold producer, having surpassed South Africa in 2019, and the continent's second-largest cocoa producer after the Ivory Coast. Ghana also has a high concentration of diamonds, manganese, bauxite, and oil. 9. Tanzania GDP, $85.4 billion Tanzania's economy is a middle-income economy that is heavily reliant on agriculture and its natural resources. With a GDP of $84 billion and a purchasing power parity of $231 billion, Tanzania has the ninth strongest economy in Africa. Since 1985, Tanzania's economy has been transitioning from a command economy to a market economy. Although total GDP has increased since these reforms began, GDP per capita fell sharply at first and only recently surpassed the transition figure. Tanzania's real GDP increased by 5.2% in 2022, reaching $84.9 billion, up from $75.8 billion in 2021. With this expansion, it became the second-largest economy in East Africa, after Kenya, and the seventh-largest in Sub-Saharan Africa. Tanzania has a lower middle mixed income economy and is home to some of the continent's most famous national parks, including Kilimanjaro. Agriculture dominates the country's economy, accounting for nearly 25% of GDP and employing half of the workforce. Industries are a growing component of the Tanzanian economy, which accounts for almost 30% of GDP and includes mining, manufacturing, construction, electricity, natural gas, and water supply. 
Gold, coffee, cashew nuts, and cotton are the country's most important exports. Tanzania has experienced relatively rapid economic growth in recent years, with a 5.6% growth rate, but this appears to be slowing. 8. Angola GDP, $117 billion Angola has one of the largest reserves of raw materials in Africa, and its economy is based on oil, with large reserves of natural gas and oil accounting for more than one-third of the country's GDP. Crude oil production and export contribute significantly to foreign exchange. In fact, crude oil sales account for 90% of the country's export revenue. Diamonds and cargo ships are two other notable exports. Angola has the eighth-strongest economy in Africa with a GDP of more than $105 billion and purchasing power parity of $262 billion, and its economy was one of the fastest growing in the world during the first decade of the 21st century, with annual average GDP growth of 11% from 2001 to 2011. Angola is still growing faster than the rest of the world due to high international oil prices and rising oil production. Agriculture is also expected to become an important economic sector in the future. Angola's major exports are refined petroleum products, crude oil, coffee, diamonds, sisal, fish and fish products, timber, and cotton. Despite abundant oil and gas resources, diamonds, hydroelectric potential, and fertile agricultural land, Angola remains impoverished, with subsistence agriculture employing one-third of the population. 7. Kenya GDP, $118 billion Kenya is a country located in East Africa, and it's known for its vast landscapes and wildlife. Kenya has the seventh-strongest economy in Africa, with a GDP of more than $117 billion and a purchasing power parity of $339 billion. Thanks to its stable living conditions, established coffee and tea sectors, and rapidly growing agricultural sector, Kenya's economy is market-based, with a few state-owned enterprises. It is also an emerging market and a country with a higher level of industrialization than its East African counterparts. Kenya is a middle-income country with ambitions to become a newly industrialized nation by 2030. Agriculture, forestry, fishing, mining, manufacturing, energy, tourism, and financial services are among the major industries in the country. Kenya is the wealthiest country in Southeast and Central Africa. For centuries, its coastline has been home to a number of strategic ports for Asian and Arabian traders, becoming a regional trade hub. Kenya's economy, unlike many other countries on this list, is not based on the oil industry, but it is experiencing diverse positive growth. A large pool of highly educated professional workers support these advancements. I.T literacy and innovation are also high, particularly among young Kenyans. The industrial sector accounts for nearly half of the GDP. The agricultural sector accounts for 35% of the GDP, with coffee, tea, and maize being the main products. Tourism, financial services, and technology all experienced rapid growth, and petroleum accounts for a sizable portion of the country's foreign exchange. 6. Ethiopia GDP, $156 billion Ethiopia, the only African country to have never been colonized by European countries is a landlocked country located in the Horn of Africa and divided by the Great Rift Valley. Ethiopia has the sixth strongest economy in Africa with a GDP of $126 billion and a purchasing power parity of $379 billion. This ancient country is famous for being the origin of the coffee bean, with archaeological findings dating back over 3 million years. Agriculture, construction, manufacturing, tourism, food processing, resources, and energy are the major contributors to the country's strong economy. Agriculture is the most important resource in the region, accounting for more than 40% of GDP, 60% of exports, and more than 80% of total employment. Telecommunications, financial and insurance services, air and land transportation services, and retail, on the other hand, are considered strategic sectors and are expected to remain under state control for the foreseeable future. Almost half of Ethiopians are under the age of 18. 
Despite significant increases in primary and secondary school enrollment, job creation has not kept pace with the increased output from educational institutions. Since 2008, Ethiopia's economic growth has averaged 9.9% year-on-year. This consistent annual growth, which few African countries have achieved, has begun to attract foreign investment. In 2018, the government launched an ambitious economic reform to further open up the economy and drive transformation. By 2015, the country's poverty rate had dropped by 31% and it aims to be a middle-income economy by 2025. High consumer inflation, socio-political instability, and an underdeveloped private sector, on the other hand, are issues to keep an eye on. 5. Morocco GDP, $160 billion Morocco's economy is considered relatively liberal, governed by the law of supply and demand, and its economy ranks fifth on the list of Africa's strongest economies, with a GDP of $150 billion and purchasing power parity of $384 billion. Morocco has emerged as a major player in African economic affairs. This North African country's economy is versatile and stable, with growth in a variety of industries over the last decade. As of 2017, Morocco had the Arab world's second-largest non-oil GDP, trailing only Egypt. Mining and manufacturing drives the Moroccan economy. Industry, agriculture, phosphate minerals, and tourism are the mainstays of the Moroccan economy. Industry accounts for 30% of Moroccan GDP, agriculture, for 15%, and services account for 55%. Fish and seafood sales are also significant. This is supplemented by a growing tourism sector, with locals welcoming of tourists and the government emphasizing on attracting visitors to the country's known attractions. Morocco has also reaped significant benefits from its diverse exports, which include, but are not limited to, electrical equipment, vehicles, and vehicle parts. Furthermore, the telecom and textile industries contribute significantly to the economy. 4. Algeria GDP, $190 billion Algeria, a country in North Africa, is the continent's largest country by land area and is one of the wealthiest countries in Africa. With a significant strong economy and available infrastructure, as well as a GDP of more than $190 billion and purchasing power parity of $600 billion. The country has made the notable achievement of reducing poverty by 20% in the last 20 years. This developing Saharan country has an abundance of crude oil reserves, and the economy is heavily reliant on it. So much so, that hydrocarbons account for nearly 70% of the country's income. More crude oil discovery in recent years have boosted this rapidly growing industrial country. Agriculture, industrial works, commercial services, and construction are some of the other sectors that contribute to the Algerian economy. The country is also one of the continent's largest suppliers of ammonia. It is worth noting, however, that the recent depression and volatility in oil prices have resulted in a decrease in the country's currency reserves. Continued implementation of government structural reform programs, greater openness to the private sector, increased competitiveness, and increased investment in human capital are all critical to the Algerian economy's flourishing and resilience. 3. South Africa GDP, $422 billion South Africa is the most industrialized, technologically advanced, and the most diverse country on the entire African continent. With a highly developed economy and advanced infrastructure, South Africa has a total GDP of $422 billion and a purchasing power parity of $994 billion. The country is also regarded as one of the world's fastest developing. South Africa is one of only eight African countries with an upper-middle income economy. South Africa, also known as the Rainbow Nation, is one of the few countries on this list that does not rely on a single source of revenue. Mining, manufacturing, financial services, and tourism are all important industries in the country. The country is also blessed with a lot of natural resources and raw materials exports such as gold, diamonds, platinum, coal, and iron ore. The country is a significant exporter of these commodities, particularly gold and platinum. 
South Africa is well known around the world as a major tourist destination and places a high value on tourism as a source of revenue. However, political and global unrest have hampered its ability to realize its full potential. After experiencing four consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth rates, the country entered a recession, and development has slowed. 2. Egypt GDP, $471 billion For many years, this ancient land from North Africa held the title of Africa's wealthiest country. However, the economy suffered greatly and foreign exchange reserves plummeted following the 2011 Arab uprising. Egypt is now the second richest country in Africa, with a recent GDP of more than $471 billion and purchasing power parity $1.8 trillion. Since the early 2000s the rapid pace of structural reforms including fiscal and monetary policies, taxation, privatization, and new business legislation has aided Egypt's transition to a more market-oriented economy and encouraged increased foreign investment. Reforms and policies have also boosted macroeconomic annual growth rates. Over the last decade, economic activity has improved and stabilized, resulting in positive economic growth. The government recently completed an economic reform program with the IMF to reform and strengthen the country. The Egyptian economy is driven by petroleum and natural gas exports, tourism, wholesale and retail trade, construction, and real estate. In recent years, the state's economy has shifted away from raw materials export, with service-based employment accounting for more than half of the GDP. However, Egypt may face socioeconomic issues as a result of large percentage of the population living below the poverty line, unemployment, a weakened healthcare system, and a global slowdown. 1. Nigeria GDP, $574 billion with a population of over 200 million people, this West African country is vital to the African economy. Nigeria has the strongest economy in Africa, with a GDP of $574 billion, and a purchasing power parity of $1.36 trillion. The economy of Nigeria is a middle-income, mixed economy, and emerging market. With expanding manufacturing, financial, service, communications, technology, and entertainment sectors. It is ranked the 31st largest economy in the world in terms of nominal GDP, the largest in Africa, and the 27th largest in terms of purchasing power parity. Nigeria's large population has helped propel the country to the position of the largest consumer retailer in Africa. The country's digitally savvy residents have also contributed to the country's rapidly growing tech sector. According to the World Bank, Nigeria's GDP grew at one of the fastest rates in Africa between 2000 and 2014. Due to political insecurity, socioeconomic factors, and oil and production shocks, this has slowed to 2% in recent years. However, the recent price increase in oil prices is helping Nigeria to grow above 3%. Finance, transportation, infrastructure, tourism, and an abundance of crude oil drive the country's strong economy. According to OPEC, Nigeria exports about 1.6 million barrels of crude oil per day, making it the largest crude oil exporter in Africa. Despite accounting for two-thirds of state revenue, oil only accounts for about 9% of the GDP. Nigeria also has an abundance of raw materials and natural resources. In addition to petroleum, which contributes to the region's wealth, the country also has huge deposits of coal, limestone, zinc, lead, tin, natural gas, niobium, and iron ore. There is also enough fertile land for agriculture, which accounts for more than 20% of the GDP. So, there you have it explorers. The Top 10 Strongest Economies in Africa 2024 don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so you don't miss any of our future uploads regarding the interesting continent of Africa. Thanks for watching this one, catch you all in the next.